referee blows his whistle. It's going to be Tyrese Sinclair with a strike. Goes over the wall. No, it doesn't. Hits the top of the wall. He's back to his goalkeeper now, Louis Molden. Looking for an option, Molden. Not being pressed either by Dawkins. He goes long, Molden, trying to find Sinclair out on the left-hand side. Is able to find Tyrese Sinclair. Good tackle by Frankham into Henson. Looking for the overlapping run of Cameron John. Puts in across to Gilmore. Gilmore now drops his shoulder, comes inside and gets the shot off, but blocked by Bobby Joe Taylor. Only as far as Tyrese Sinclair. One-on-one -on -one with Tom Blair. Drops the shoulder, comes inside Sinclair. Into the feet of Gilmore. Lays it off back to Sinclair. He plays it back to Clayton. Rochdale will reset the passage of play with Ebanks Landell into the feet of Gilmore. Nice play this by Rochdale. Nice one two with Clayton and Gilmore. And Gilmore has found himself in a pocket of space on the edge of the box. Gilmore into the feet of Cairo Mitchell. Now Mitchell back to Gilmore. Gilmore on the edge of the box. Plays it left to Tyree Sinclair. He's got John overlap uh, overlapping. Puts in a cross trying to find Gilmore at the back post. Gets the shot away. Gilmore with the header but blocked by Bauman and that's our play four. A Rochdale corner. And that's the first time, 50 minutes into the game, Rochdale have really been able to put a, a good passage of play there. Lots of passing combinations, one touch passing, getting it, but not goalwards, and that's over the top of everyone. And Rochdale should be able to clear their lines here with Keohe. Plays it inside into Ebanks Landell. Nice pass there to release Gilmore now. Gilmore driving over the halfway line. He's got Keohe overlapping on the outside. Keohe now driving the right back onto the edge of the box. Goes for goal with his left foot. Jimmy Keohe had Harrison Mayo scrambling to his near post there. And now they eventually do and Clayton should be able to clear his lines. He plays it right into Gilmore inside to Keohe. Back to Clayton. Nice play by Clayton into Keohe. Looking for an option. Plays in Ian Henderson. Nice moving off the ball there by Mitchell. Mitchell's in behind Dan Gallagher. Mitchell now one on one with Harrison Mill. Squares it across to Sinclair. And Frankham does excellent. Kennedy into the chest of Jason Pryor. Can he hold the ball up? He does, but miscommunication between him and Blair. And it's picked up by Gilmore. And Rochdale got a chance there. They've got Sinclair overlapping on the left. Gilmore goes for goal from 30 yards out, but not the best strike. And Harrison Mill gets down low and makes the save. So Clayton over this corner for Rochdale. They surround the goalkeeper. Goes towards the near post. Flicked on and flicked on by Henderson, I think it was at the near post. And it went through everyone. And all it needed was a touch from. He clips it towards the back post. Trying to find Pryor. Does find Pryor. He was getting get a shot off on goal, but straight at the arms of Louis Molden. So headed forward into the path of Sinclair. Sinclair goes for goal from the edge of the box. Drags his shot wide down. Stop that attack from progressing. Mail goes long, trying to find Tom Blair. Tom Blair stronger than Keohane. And now driving at the fullback. Comes inside Tom Blair, edge of the box. Tom Blair can't go for goal. Goes for goal from the edge of the box. Tom Blair breaks the deadlock here in Meadowbank. All of the work of his own doing. He battled well against Keohane to win the initial ball from Harrison Mayo. Squared up the fullback before dropping the shoulder and coming inside. Unleashes a shot from the edge of the box and it beats Louis Molden at his near post. After 58 minutes, it's Dawkins 1, Rochdale 0. Molden. Molden goes long early, trying to find Mitchell. It does come to Mitchell. Mitchell turns Gallagher. Mitchell 30 yards out, goes for goal, takes deflection off Ian Henderson. And in the end, it goes out of play for Dorking goal kick. So Dorking setting up another long throw with Josh Taylor. The big bullies are up from the back. Gallagher battling with Henderson again. It goes into the box. Pryor goes down. Nothing given. Still not cleared though by Rochdale. Sinclair does well to play his way out of, out of trouble. Pybus tries to trip him up and can't do so. Now four and three here for Rochdale if they play it right. He plays it out right to the substitute. Uchek Bulam. Uchek Bulam puts across goal into Mitchell. And Mitchell made set decent connection with it and would have been the equaliser for Rochdale but was slightly behind the forward and in the end Harrison Mayo 
gets down low to make the comfortable save for Dorking. In fact, everyone forward for Rochdale. The deepest man is Cameron John, who is on the edge of the box. Clayton puts in a cross, deep cross, towards the back post, headed on by Ebanks Landell, but only as far as Cameron John on the edge of the box. Still not clear. Comes Gallagher tries to clear his lines. It's back with the corner taker, Clayton. Clayton, deep towards the back post, trying to find Ebanks Landell, and the big centre back up from the back can't keep his header down, and is out of play for a goal kick. So Adam Clayton over us. He's looking like he's going to. Have a go at goal here. It's a big wall for Dorking. 25 yards out from goal. Adam Clayton. Clayton over the free kick. He does go for goal. Over the wall and Harrison Meld as well to come across and get down low to make the save. Not sure if that was sneaking in the, inside the post or not, but he had to make sure and it's out of play for Rochdale Corner. So 71 minutes gone here. Dorking again plays around Harrison Mera. Goes deep towards the back post, trying to find Ebanks Landell. Headed in back in field by Ebanks Landell. Comes to Keohane. He ran onto it, hit it too much into the ground, and in the end, comfortable save for Harrison Mayo. Franken throws it into the feet of Josh Taylor. Back to Pivas. Pivas puts in an early cross. Flicked on again by McShane. Seeger's battling with Kieran. Comes to Osway in the edge of the box. Osway tries to place the shot. Seeger now with the volley from the edge of the box. And Molden does well to go across and make the save. So Rochdale free kick. 30 yards from goal. Gilmore and Clayton over. Everyone back for Dorking and everyone forward for Rochdale. It looks like it is going to be the left foot of Harvey Gilmore to take this free kick. Instead it's Clayton, he clips it towards the back post, trying to find Mitchell. Comes to Evax Lando, and Evax Lando found himself in a bit of space off the second ball, and his left foot volley finds the corner, and nothing Harrison Mayo could do in the Dorking net. And just like that, after Dorking should have been out of sight, Rochdale have pulled one back, and it's from their skipper, Ethan Evax Lando. And with two minutes to play, is Dorking one, Rochdale one. Dorking, the crowd just as that ball went in the net, just went a bit quiet. And now Rochdale looks to come the other forward. It's now Tyree Sinclair. Sinclair, one on one up against Pybus. Goes round the outside of Pybus. Pybus body checks the mid Dorking midfielder. And Pybus will receive the second yellow card and will receive his marching orders there. And Dorking, in a matter of minutes, have gone from one goal to the goods to level and down to 10 men again and the Rochdale attack after attack at the moment with Gilmore into the feet of Henderson Ian Henderson's got Clayton running past him plays it right into Uchek Bulam's got the beating of Seeger every time so far tries to go around the outside of Seeger gets around the outside of Seeger into the box across to Jimmy Keohane and just like that Rochdale have found the winner and I think Ian Henderson got the last touch on that and Uchek Bulam had the beating of Seager ever since he's come on he drives past the Dorking midfielder or the winger sorry able to get a crossing or lay it back into Jimmy Keohane Keohane goes for goal and Henderson puts a foot out to divert his shot away from Harrison Mello and just like that Rochdale has snapped up all three points out the brink here So Molden goes along, still playing here, 98 minutes have been played. Uchek Bulam's in behind here, down to the byline, can he go for goal? He does go for goal, but straight at Harrison Mell, and with that, the referee blows his full-time whistle, and it's finished here. Dorking one, Rochdale two. Two goals in the last five minutes to turn the game on its head for Rochdale.